In this episode, I visit the small town of Gustusberry, not far from Stockholm. Join me in my painting process as I make the journey from sketch to final watercolour. Let's go! Hi, I'm David and I paint watercolours. I just love being outdoors and I hope these videos inspire you to do the same. So um, subscribe and welcome! Okay, so um, I live in Stockholm and um, we're going to drive east uh, to Gustav Spain. I think about 12,000 people live in uh, Gustavsbury. Um, it's famous for its porcelain, and, and I, I just really like it as a place to sketch. So, so many interesting things here. Okay, I found uh, an excellent little uh, viewpoint here. Um, it's, it's got the harbour here. There's a church, I don't know if you can see that. And uh, over there's a cafe. And um, yeah, I think this is perfect. This is my table. I've done my initial sketch. I really need to make the house quite faint in the background. Uh, I want the boat, the boat to, to, um, to be this, the, the focus point. And um, yeah, so um, I'm going to now transfer that to this piece of paper and I'll film as I go along. Okay. Okay, so I start the watercolour. Um, start off lightly with the first wash, just um, not to get too dark. And then I'm just um, putting down the colour, um, experimenting. Sometimes, uh, yeah, some blues there, which um, won't be there in the end. But um, so I play around. That's what the point of a sketch is. Here I'm, um, you know, I paint the boat, and, and of course then I have to do the reflection. There's several different ways of doing reflections. One is a hard reflection or a, or a soft reflection. Um, in this sketch, I've just I've opted for the, the hard reflection. Um, yeah. In the final painting, I actually go for the soft reflection. But anyway, that's the way it is. And so here I darken it all down. Um, so I, the reason for this is I want to, I'm trying to get the boat to pop out. Um, and then, because I've done that, oh, yeah, I'm showing it's very cold. Um, because I've done that, um, I have to um, also darken the foreground, um, the shadows, the reflections. So, um, this wouldn't be good if it was the final painting, but um, as it's a sketch, it's totally fine to play around and make adjustments. Okay, I've come to the end of the painting now. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, it's, um, it's enough. It's uh, getting really cold. Eight degrees. And um, I think I'm happy with this. It's time to go back to the van and um, get some hot tea. I enjoyed my day in Gustav's Bay, but now it's time to go back to the studio. Okay, so after looking at my sketch, and then um, my watercolour sketch, when I was out, um, I decided this combination just isn't working. And um, so I thought I'll have a go in the studio, and I'll shift things around. Basically, You'll see the little house, I've made it much smaller. I'm going to put it in the background. I'm actually going to rub this out a bit. So it, um, yeah, I'll do that now, actually. 
So you see, um, I wish I had a putty rubber. Um, I do have a putty rubber. No. Okay, just, I'm not going to rub at it. I'm just going to roll the eraser. Okay, so I'll, that'll be there in the background, but it'll just literally be a hint. Um, so that pass gets relegated to the distance. The boat comes um, more into the foreground. I have a few people there, but this will be my cent focus point, um, the rule of thirds. Um, I have a red marker here which will just bring the eye, you know, a little Z effect of um, the eye will wander. I have a church here as well, so um, that wasn't in the original sketch, um, but it's there um, in the reference photo. And um, so I'm going to use that. Uh, I think it would be nice. And so I create kind of an, um, some movement for the eye to travel. And then I'll put my little signature here as well, so that'll complete the Z effects. And this basically just lets people wander through the um, through the watercolor. Okay, so I'll um, put these away and um, get on with it. Well, actually, I'll keep these in, um, as reference. Um, I like the the light here on the, the water that I've just left basically white, and I'll, I'll probably repeat that. And, um, and the shadow here. Um, yeah, so I'll get going. Okay, um, using my new Chinese uh, watercolor brushes, um, I am um, yeah, first wetting down the, the, um, the sky and then I add some uh, Verditer Blue, as uh, a Holbein Verditer Blue. Um, and um, yeah, I'm just splashing it in. Um, you can see. And inspired by the sky that was there. Uh, and then I use a bit of burnt umber there to, um, not um, ah, orchid, yellow orchid, to basically warm colors to gray down the, the blue. Um, and um, yeah, I just keep working on it. Um, And here and now I'm just going for the um, the, the water, and uh, again I, I wet down the edge there. I'm using lots of um, water, um, uh, not so much pigment at this stage. It's my first wash, so I want it to be pale. You can always darken later. Um, it's hard. It's hard if you go out straight away and um, just darken too dark in the beginning. Um, so start light and then work your way to the darks as the painting progresses. Okay, so um, I'm taking, going for a dark pigment here. I, basically I want the, the painting to sit on something. So um, usually I go dark at the, the foot of the watercolor. So a quick stroke like this. This kind of sets um, the foot, you could say, for my painting. So um, yeah, that's, that's my theory my explanation. So I'll speed it up here a little bit um, to prevent boredom. And um, yeah, just working on it. Just mid-tones. That's the boat reflection. This is a bit tricky. Um, here I go a bit too dark, you could say. But you'll see as, a, as a, because there's so much water on the page, it, um, it does run off. And um, I have to work at this a little bit because it's the um, the focus point of the painting, and um, so it's important that it um, looks good. So I spend a bit of time on that. And um, here, while the paper's still wet, I want to put in the trees in the background. I, I want them to be soft. I don't want to have hard edges. Um, there is some dryness, so. Um, some some areas or um, the, the lines are a bit harder, and that's okay. It's, it's, um, it's actually makes the watercolor more interesting to have some um, soft and hard lines. So 
still working on that shadow area. I can, it's uh, gone too light, so now I have to darken it again. And you can see here, once I start doing little, um, basically I have no pigment in my brush, I'm just lifting and, uh, and moving. And when I do this, then I create the, um, the illusion of uh, water. I've let this dry. And um, it was very wet because uh, my first wash uh, needs you, for the magic to happen. Basically, you need a lot of um, water because um, it's watercolor. And um, this is how the pigments move about. And um, so you need to um, dare, you could say, and uh, let things flow in a kind of controlled manner. But anyway, so now um, I've, like I said, it's dried and um, I'm going to uh, get on with the second stage. This is the first wash. Okay. Okay, back to the, um, the painting. It's, um, it's dry, so it's, it's a bit cold. So I'm now I'm going to start adding some warmer colors, um, some uh, yellow orchid, and just to, um, to warm it up a bit. I spend a lot of time on the boat as it's the focus point. Um, so um, my problem here is that it's um, lacking definition. So I'm trying to um, create a, a th three-dimensional effect, and uh, I don't want to go too dark too quickly. But um, basically, I'm, I'm looking for to create a, a feeling of um, light hitting the um, the boat, and um, so I'll be. Um, uh, playing around here with the shadows to trying to, to get it to to pop out more. I jump forward a little bit and um, now I'm playing with the trees in the background. The trees' um, main function here is to, to create, to, is to make the, the boat pop out. The boat is the hero and um, so everything, everything else is secondary. So um, here I kind of, instead of like going for a kind of a medium tone um, at this stage, I've elected to kind of go for darker colors. Maybe I should have started with lighter colors first, but um, but that's what I chose in this painting. And basically, what I'm trying to do here is to darken around the boat uh, to make it pop out. Um, so my focus is all the time is the boat um, to to make it look good. Okay, I jump here a little bit to the church. And um, the interesting about the church, at this stage, I think it actually works. Um, later, I elect to, um, to mask off the church and the red mark. But um, at, at this stage, I'm um, still trying to make it work. So you can see that when it's um, pale, it, um, it's not too bad. And um, yeah, so trees are tricky. Um, I've, I've wet down the paper there again, and I'm keeping it soft. The church now stands out more because I've, I put uh, dark trees around it and made it stand out a little bit. So I, I made it stand out a little bit too much. The, um, the little house, the, the, there's now a little house, uh, is looking a lot better. It's not taking attention away from the boat. Um, that's moved very much back into the background. So I like that. So now I'm getting to the detailing stage really. That's why my head's appearing in the 
picture. <laughs> it's, um, it's a little bit more focused. My hand, you can see is the position of my, of my hand has gone closer to the point of the brush. And this means I'm try, uh, being accurate. Accurate is uh, more important. Having your hand at the um, the end of the brush at the uh, in, in the early stages uh, gives you a lot more um, movement and um, expression. You could say you lose expression when you're holding the um, the brush towards the close to the point. So here you can see I'm starting to think uh, maybe that church is not such a good idea. Um, I spend a lot of time thinking about this. And so I take out my um, passepartout that I've cut in, up into uh, pieces like this. And um, it's a very handy tool, uh, having a passepartout like this um, in your studio. And um, it helps me like, look at that and think, you know, does that work? You know, the, the boy, um, to the boat, to the church, and it's, um, I feel that there's too much of a tug of war going on. So I mask off the church and it feels instantly um, a lot better. Um, yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Okay, it's finished. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and uh, pop over to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash meldrumart if you'd like to um, support this channel. Cheers.